okay, basically, what did I learn from losing a shit ton of money? <laughs> It's always painful as fuck to talk about, man. It doesn't get easier over time, I'll tell you that. Um, okay, so if you're not familiar with the story, uh, basically I blew out my whole fucking account about two to three years after I became a professional trader. Uh, it was maybe the most emotionally devastating uh, experience I think I've ever gone through, being completely broke, like literally actually no money, like actually no fucking money. Um, so the way that I got into that first and foremost is, well, as, 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 as you apparently had experience as well, I did not follow my plan. I thought that I was smarter than the market. I thought that I knew more. I thought that because I had been getting uh, mentor mentorship from, you know, some very successful traders who have been doing it for 30 to 40 years, two guys especially, um, you know, I, I, I thought that I, you know, had this special skill and I couldn't be wrong. And I was having a lot of success, which played into that. So what always happens before the great fall is is like what the Greeks called hubris, right? You think that you're better than what you are. And I think it's like in con it's like in a religion's context for that. So maybe not the best example there. But my point is, is that you basically you basically uh, get your ego gets inflated in a sense because it's very difficult to do that when you're in a, when you're in a mid to low 20s and um, and you're making like what is big money to you at the time and then what happens after that the market pulls down your pants bear jesus comes inside of you and says have a shishubab in your angus to your mouth hole sir and enjoy and the problem is is that that's always you can count on that happening again mr solverine i can assure you of that if you do not learn the lesson what is the lesson the lesson is under no fucking circumstances ever, 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 do you deviate from your plan. Always have risk management. And now I, I know you personally, so I know that you do have like an actual plan. Problem is when you don't follow it, that's a plan. That's not a plan. It's just, it's just fucking words on a paper. So what I learned from that is that I can have more or less what I want when it comes to trading, but that comes with the responsibility to be adherent to my plan which sounds easy enough. Problem is when you're an emotional fucking mid 20 uh, mid 20s guy, you're not going to you you are emotional. You're the bitch of the world at that point. You don't you don't really like come into emotional maturity until your late 20s I think as a guy. I think girls get into mo emotional maturity like earlier. They probably get into their teens cuz they just get more experience earlier I think. Um but that's a whole other discussion. Anyways, for guys especially in this day and age with the way that we're kind of raised and um and conditioned, I, I do think that unless if you have a self-imposed sort of like rite of passage uh, earlier in life, it's going to come out in some other way. And, you know, we have like problem creep as well, which fuck, why am I getting into this right now? But basically, you know, even though we didn't necessarily have the same issues as, you know, our, our, our ancestors, like what is it? Hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of years ago, we still treat our issues today as if they are of the same um, severity, like, you know, as running away from a fucking lion. If, uh, you know, if, if you lose your whole account, it's, it's, it's rattling. It's, it's going to absolutely destroy you. So anyways, my point is, is that, First and foremost, the lesson is do not deviate from the fucking plan. Now, again, I know you, so I know that your plan is actually solid. For a lot of people out there, your plan might not be solid, so this might not apply to you. That is an assumption that I'm making right now. If your plan is solid, then it's just a matter of following your plan. And that means that you understand what trading is in its essence. It is a game of statistics and probabilities. You cannot be 100% perfect. I have never seen someone be 100% perfect over a long period of time. I've seen some people do it for, uh, you know, a month or, you know, or, you know, a few weeks. I think a few people in the Discord could probably come up with a few examples for that. Um, but over a long period of time, I can assure you, I've never seen it not once. I guess maybe it'd be naive to say that it can never happen, but I have not seen it in, a, in, in, in my lifetime. So that means if you can't be perfect with your trading, you need to have a plan for what happens if what you are looking for does not work in the way that you are, well, postulating, aka a trading bias, if you will. That's why risk management is so important because you can be 99% perfect, but on the 1% or even not point, not, 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 not 1% chance that you are wrong, it will be a career ending decision or can be a career ending decision. So that is the lesson. There is no deviation. You are responsible for following that. That is what it means to be a trader. If you cannot do that, you will never be long-term successful. It can't be done because at some point, a black swan event, a 10 sigma fucking event will happen and you will lose a lot or maybe even all. And, and, uh, and it's very difficult to come back from zero. Uh, it can be done, yes but the better option is to just never fucking get there in the first place to be honest with you uh you don't need to do that and if you are and if and now i'm not speaking to solverine here but anyone else who might have been listening to that 
if you are um, currently maybe learning or you don't uh, or, or you don't like have a solid plan in place, do not put real fucking money at risk. Trade a demo account. You can get great experience there. Yes, it's not going to feel the same as when you actually put real money at risk, but at least you can see the statistics over time. And naturally speaking, as you get more and more experience with that, as you get more and more familiar with it, your emotions will quiet down as you become progressively desensitized to that stimulus. And as you do that, you'll recognize, oh shit, if I have a 69% chance to win this trade versus a 31% chance to lose this trade, does it make sense for me over time to get excited about winning or losing? No, it doesn't. It fucking doesn't. You don't get excited. You don't, you don't get surprised about flipping a coin and finding out that over like 100,000 flips, you know, 50,000 of them are heads and 50,000 of them are tails or something similar to that. You don't. you don't. You don't get surprised by that. You know, it's the same thing. So you need to get that progressive desensitization if, that, you know, if, 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 if you're on that side of the scale as well. So end that, uh, end that talk right there.